Hi, I'm Meredith Lay with Sneaky Sunday TV in New York City at Tavern on the Green in Central Park. The Tavern is famous for not only being a New York staple, but also as having one of the best brunches in town. Plus, no matter where you sit, you're bound to have a great view of the park. So sit back, grab a Bloody Mary, and enjoy your brunch at Tavern on the Green. I'm here with David Hart, Director of Operations for Tavern on the Green. Thank you so much for having us. It's my pleasure. What is Tavern on the Green? Tavern on the Green is a historic restaurant in Central Park. We see about uh, over 600,000 guests here per year. Uh, we have a total of six different dining rooms. The Chestnut Room, which is a uh, wood paneled uh, brass and copper chandeliered room. We also have the terrace room, which is often called the baby crystal. It's very similar to the crystal room, but of a different view of Central Park. Um, you could be in the park room, which is a mural of Central Park, um, circa 1890s. You could be in the crystal room, which is uh, filled with millions of dollars worth of chandeliers, um, all glass walls and ceilings. In the pavilion room, which is uh, the room we're in right now, is a newly renovated room where we just put in this brand new mural of Central Park. Uh, you could be in the rafters room. Uh, the rafters room is more of one of our banquet rooms, but it's similar to the chestnut room with um, wormy chestnut paneled walls, uh, but as crystal chandeliers rather than the brass and copper chandeliers. I'd say we're one of the, uh, the jewels of Central Park. Definitely a staple of New York. I mean, how long has this restaurant been around? Well, it's been a restaurant since 1934, so it's absolutely a staple of New York. Uh, before that, it was a sheep fold where it actually housed sheep that would graze in Sheep's Meadow across the way, which is a popular spot now for a lot of New Yorkers. Tell me about the typical experience that someone can have coming in here who's never been before. They could be sitting in any one of our six different dining rooms, um, from the Crystal Room to a uh, more tavern-esque type room like the Chestnut Room. Uh, it's um, high-end dining service. Um, it, it's some of the best food in New York City. Uh, do people have the option of choosing which room they want to dine in? We do our best to accommodate, and most of the time we can accommodate people's requests. Often the most uh, requested room is the Crystal Room. It's our main dining room, it's our showpiece room, uh, and we can fit the most people in there, so very often that request can be accommodated. Tell me about the crowd that you usually draw, the kind of people that come in here. Well, we have a lot of out-of-towners. We also have a lot of New Yorkers here, particularly on brunch. And people, I've heard um, I've heard some people say, oh, it's, just, it's a touristy spot, but that's not at all the case, is it? No, we do, like I said, have a fair amount of out-of-towners, but we definitely have it. We definitely have a staple uh, crowd of New Yorkers that does come here time and again. Anybody worth noting? As far as celebrities here at Tavern on the Green, uh, there are several. Uh, anywhere from Regis Philbin to Nicolas Cage to Fran Drescher uh, to Barbara Walters, the list goes on and on. Someone who's never been here before and they know that they want a great place somewhere central in the city, what do you have to say to them to bring them in and give Tavern on the Green a try? Um, well, a lot of New Yorkers will spend their whole lives not actually coming to Tavern on the Green. It's one of those places that often is thought of as being touristy, but um, is really definitely worth a shot. Uh, being in the middle of Central Park, which most New Yorkers absolutely love, it is a scenic and beautiful and delicious place to have brunch or any meal for that matter. 